Yeah, so my car of choice is my 1985 Mercedes-Benz, Benz 190D, 2.2 liter. Um, it's a diesel, fresh new paint job as you can see, looks pretty nice, classy car. And then, go off the engine a little bit here, original engine, pretty nice, a lot of power behind it. Who's this? This is the car I chose. I uh, figured it was kind of practical. You have to get from point A to point B, so I figured I'd pick something that was relatively fast to get me there. Um, and it's pretty comfortable. Oh, we could. I should get a faster car like mine. Hey, I don't know. I figured this looked alright. Alright, let's see. All right. To test your car's handling capabilities, you will weave in and out of objects, and it will be a timed race. All right, let's do it. All right. I need mark. Get set. Go. I was whipping through. 15.39 oh. seconds. On your mark, get set, go! <laughs> what do you get, what do you get? 18.7. I definitely won, man. Look at the handling on this, the speed. I got around the left foot really quick. Are you quick. kidding me? That thing is the biggest piece of Look at this thing. This thing's a beautiful machine right here. I easily won. Are you kidding me? That thing's a beater. It took you forever to get in around those obstacles. Yeah, okay. I think I won that one. I don't think so. So, Evan, with the faster time. Bam! Told you. It's oh, not the winner. What? Because oh! of because oh! of the obstacle that he hit, deducted five points. So come on, Bauer is the winner. First one's mine. Fair enough. All right, for the next challenge, we're gonna do a zero to sixty speed test, and obviously, mine is gonna kick your. I don't not, think not so. Not even competition. I don't so. think so. I don't even think that thing can get over 60. It can get about 70, so yeah, it can get over 60. Yeah. 103 right here. Yeah, that's me. Yeah. Alright, okay. let's, let's, right, let's see who wins. Let's try let's it. Alright. All right. Yeah. of Evan's car, you have to take the change in velocity over the change in time. Evan's car went 0 to 60 in 4.7 seconds, so we had to change uh, miles per hour into meters per second to have our units line up at the end. Uh, so that converts into 26.8224 meters per second, and the cha so the change of velocity is that, and then the total time it took was 4.7, so you do 26.8224 divided by 4.7, and the average acceleration of Evan's car was 5.71 meters per second squared. Right, so for Bauer's car, we do the same thing as we did to find the acceleration of his car um, that we did for Evan's. So the average acceleration is the change in velocity um, over the change in time. 
So for Bauer's car, it took him 19.9 seconds to get to 60 miles per hour. So velocity at 19.9 seconds minus the velocity at zero seconds will give you the total change in velocity that his car had. And on the bottom, it's a change in time. So the time it took him to get to 60 miles per hour goes on the bottom. And of course, we had to do the meters per second because our units didn't match up if we did miles per hour. And finally, we get 1.35 meters per second squared for Bauer's car's acceleration. Here's a tech for Evan's car to reach 60 miles an hour. We take the acceleration, the average acceleration, which was 5.71 meters per second squared, and to find the velocity, we take the antiderivative of the acceleration, which you know, get 5.71 t plus c. And c equals zero because the initial velocity was zero and the initial acceleration was zero. And so then to get the position, you take the antiderivative of the velocity equation and you get 2.86 t squared plus c. C is again zero because uh, there is no initial velocity or acceleration. Uh, and then to find out exactly how many meters it took him, we take the time it took him to reach 60 squared times 2.86 and you get 63.18 meters. So to find the distance it takes Bauer's car to get to 60 miles per hour, we first take the acceleration equation, which is A of T equals 1.35 meters per second squared. And we take the antiderivative of that to get our velocity equation, which turns out to be 1.35 t plus c. And c is just zero because Bauer's car started from rest. It didn't start out with any initial velocity, so c will just stay zero. And then to find the third uh, equation, which is the position versus time equation, we take the antiderivative of the equation we just found, which is the velocity of the, velocity of the car, and we get 0.675 t squared plus c. Again, the c is zero because he didn't start off with any position either um, and no velocity. So c is just stay zero. And when we plug in um, the time it took Bauer's car to get to 60 miles per hour into the position versus time equation, we get 267. 0.31 meters, which is considerably larger than Evan's car took. All right, well, I don't know what this next challenge is. Are we? Oh, we're getting it right now. We have to test. It says test your everyday driving abilities in the vehicle. What does that mean? I don't know. What does it mean? I don't know. Can we ask the producers, hey, what what's, what do we got to do? User friendliness of the car. User friendliness of the car. All That's right. right. So what's the challenge? What do we got to do? You got to order something at Culver's. And then we'll go through the drive here? Yep. See how right. easy it is. All right. I can All do right. that. All right. Let's go down. Uh, I don't have any money, actually. Really? Fine. Enjoy. You're going down. Yeah, okay. Hi, um, all right, I have the, the hockey card or whatever. It gets me buy one, get one ice cream thing off, free or whatever. Okay. All right, so the first thing I want is chocolate ice cream with Reese's on top. The, the peanut butter cups, like the cup. You want the Reese's peanut butter cup on top? That's right. And then the second kind I want is vanilla with Snickers on top. All right, thank you. All right, then this is going to get a little complicated. I'm paying for it, and I get the Snickers in my car, and then the car behind me gets the the peanut butter cups. Okay. All right? You guys fun. All right. Heavy? Thank you. Easy to use, space to eat, unlike Evan's car with the stick shift. 
All right. So in the first challenge, we had a win by Bauer after right. Evan five second penalty. And in the second challenge, it's zero to sixty. It wasn't even a question. Evan. Bauer won. What? No. <laughs> Bauer did not win. Evan clearly won. And in the third challenge of driving usability, Evan could barely reach the window of the drive-thru. So, we're going to have to give the third challenge to Bauer, making Bauer the overall winner. Okay. Yeah! That's tough. Whoa! Almost got hit in the car, but it's parking lot here. 